large safe around the cat. It's a very large Himalayan. And we're trapped in our bedroom. He won't let us out of our door. It is the 911 call heard around the nation. A Portland man calls for help after his cat attacks his child and traps the family in the bedroom. Now, this story has gained so much attention. We even had a call from a woman in New Mexico. I talked to her. She was wondering what was going to happen to the cat. Yeah, we also wanted to know, should police have responded to this? So we sent Tim Becker to find out. Tim? Well, Jenny, I spoke with one of the cat's owners, Lee Palmer. He tells me they're discussing whether to keep the cat or not at this moment. He also tells me he's had dozens of calls and messages left from all over the country. Their story has people asking questions like, why not just give the cat away? And was police force really necessary? And she started hissing and just wow. Teresa Barker has owned Lux the cat for four years. Never thought he'd make the 911 tapes. One moment, okay? You hear him? Can you keep your door, the cat. Yeah, yeah, I hear him. Hold on. Keep your door shut, okay? All right. Or end up being corralled by cops. This is this called a welfare check? That's what it came out as. Police tell me they have little choice but to respond to calls like this. The 911 operator did check with a supervisor, though, before calling the cops. The cat tries to come at them every time they open the door. Okay. Am I setting that up for yeah. police response? Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, bye. bye. Do you just get a call from 911 and then you just go no matter what? Highly unlikely that we wouldn't go. I'm, I'm, you never say never. It wouldn't have happened if nobody had put their hands on him. Teresa and her boyfriend Lee Palmer now have some decisions to make. I went back to their apartment today, and Lee said he'd rather just talk on the phone. You're going to go to the veterinarian, and then you are going to get a psychologist to check him out too, or what? Palmer tells me they're taking Lux to the vet next week for a behavioral assessment and to see if there might be something physically wrong that's causing his aggressive behavior. And the other thing I really wanted to know... Why don't you get that cat out of the house if it's such a big, mean cat? You know, personally, I don't want the cat here. Um, I love the cat, but... You know, he's dangerous. He's a dang he's, you know, he's been a danger to my dog. And if worse comes to worse, then yeah, I will be looking at getting rid of my cat. So there you have it, guys. Looks like Lux's future right now is still pretty much right up in the air. Right, that woman I talked to from New Mexico, she had seen it on the CBS Morning Show. She was distraught. She's yeah. a nurse. She mm -hmm. wanted to fly to Portland and get the cat. Gone nationwide. Yeah, story's been all over the country. I mean, they know Lux from London to Los Angeles and everywhere in between at this point. Um, a national TV show was at, the, uh, at their apartment just before I got there. They had just left that TV show. Uh, and then there's also a statement that uh, PETA emailed us this afternoon on the issue. They're, of course, mm -hmm. based in Washington, D.C. You just Google Lux. Get on the computer and Google Lux, and you get about the first four or five pages of Google. It, these it, stories and about, the cat about is going it. to like a, a therapist of sorts for cats. Is that the next? Might uh, even be getting a house call from the therapist if we understand right. But yeah, they, you know, they said there's going to be a physical assessment and then also a behavioral assessment from a vet and or a therapist. Mm -hmm. We will see. Dan was imagining a little couch. A little couch. <laughs> <A> cat. Psychiatrist. <laughs> cat. Well, it's a 22 pound cat, so it's semi. Some <laughs> little wide, wide. Yeah. All right. There you go. You'll keep us uh, assessed of what happens. We or, will. Okay. Thank Certainly. you. Thank you, Tim.